Hey guys, it's me Cam, and today I'm at the San Jose Regional. We got here super early, like woke up at 5 in the morning just to get here. Just finished doing the registration and it's 11 a.m. right now, so uh, we're about to get started soon. First regional ever, I'm super excited. i barely eaten anything, barely drinking any water, and I'm heavily unmedicated. I'm the perfect Yu-Gi-Oh! duelist for this event. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to record much footage inside for, you know, legal reasons, <laughs> but uh, I'll give you guys updates along the way and uh, see how far I can get. This is not your average Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. This is where all the Yu-Gi-Oh! chats come out of hiding and completely dominate the brackets. We're playing nine rounds of Swiss, each round being 40 minutes in a best of three against the opponent. Today, we're playing a 52 card deck Cybris Eldritch deck. Uh, similar to what we were practicing with in the last video, I was struggling with what to expect and after some consideration I decided to alter my deck by cutting a few cards out of the Eldritch package, running only one Golden Lord and two of each trap. I also took out a Nibiru in fear of running into Despia matchups and added a two triple tactic talents. And I'm feeling pretty good so far as I'm setting their weight in line for what will soon be the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh event I've ever attended. Got some people out here representing Santa Rosa out here. Got some packs, gonna get those open. All right, we got the five entry packs. Gonna pull uh, five starlights for sure. Don't forget the starlight, never, never, never. <laughs> you pulling a loon calling it. Hey, hey that's pretty that's nice. Good. Something good. Chaos. Dark Dimension Soldier. When do I get? When do I get? Yuck. Uh, Yuck, dude. Hey, Asian. Golden boy, good. Golden boy, be good luck. Alright. No, but it wasn't the right Poo -poo. one. <laughs> yeah. I got all this bulk here thanks to Andre. Dude opened like all the blisters that they had in, in stock. And he pulled uh, three secret rare uh, unicorn and one ghost spell. And one imperm. And an imperm. This guy is a, the professional uh, Yu Gi Oh pack opener. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Today we have 490 players in attendance. There were a total of 490 entrants that came from all around the country. Uh, I'm a little nervous, uh, a little sweaty, uh, and I thankfully I put on three layers of deodorant, so I'm big chilling. But we are about to get started. All right, we just finished up round one. It was really close. So we were up against uh, Sky Striker. Game three. This dude just packing hella hand traps. Uh, I opened Brick like Dasher and Celestial in hand. Um, I go into Verte. He, nib he nibs me on Verte. So now I'm just stuck with like <laughs> Dasher and Celestial in hand. Um, and I pass it to him and he doesn't have anything. Um, so I'm able to normal summon, attack for 16. And then he attacks for 15 on the next turn. So I'm winning by 100 points, and then uh, it's getting down to like the last 30 seconds or so. He links someone's another Kaina. And then, he, and then I lose. It was good, though. I mean, it was fine. Uh, we were like pretty uh, conscious about the time. Like, there wasn't any slow playing happening. Uh, dude's a really nice guy. Um, it was just uh, it was just like really close at the end. Thoughts uh, after this round? I did misplay. Uh, I locked myself into zombies uh, first game and lost because of that. So I was just trying to be more subconscious about uh, about my activation or second or secondary activation effects and uh, try to be more level headed. So uh, let's go into round two and see how we do then. I got destroyed round two. I got clapped. I go up against this guy, and like this aura coming from this guy. This guy's a real ch like this guy's a Chad. Like this guy, um, he was playing base, uh, main deck cross out, um, just completely like destroyed me. Uh, this guy, uh, he was telling me he has like multiple uh, like YCS tops, and uh, I was asking him like how how did you lose the first game? And he's like, I shouldn't have. Like, I just bricked. Like, my deck, like, uh, the way that it's structured out, it's just, like, it's just una unable to lose unless, like, I draw, like, these exact cards. So I was like, okay. He just won both games. So, uh, I just, I was just sitting there with, like, my hands like this. Just, like, just, like waiting for it to be over. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was kind of cool to see. Uh, I tried to stop Hauk, uh, and but uh, he just had everything. He had he had call by a cross out. He had uh, every hand trap, um, token collector. So uh, yeah, we're 0 2 right now, but uh, about to go into the next round soon. Might uh, go see how some other people are doing at the moment. All right, I'm here with Javier, and he's playing Evil Twin. And how did your match go? You know, um, I had a really tough loss to Sword Soul game one, uh, round one, and my confidence got kind of boosted because I went up, up against heroes. Open nib two times. Open nib game one, open nib game two. Uh, he misplayed a ton of times. He seemed kind of tilted, so I just took that to my advantage, you know? I think it's always a good strategy is like oh, when, yeah. you, when you can tell your opponent's like tilted and stuff, don't correct them on anything because they're just gonna realize it later and that's gonna like you know that's how I got the win right there uh, yeah I just summoned Nib and he was just like his ego was like down like I felt bad for the hero player but you know Nib Nib kind of OP yeah just feed on the frustration it just fuels your power makes you stronger yeah and also like everyone's not running Nib right now because of Despia so yeah now I'm like the I'm like the black sheep running Nib in the tournament so we'll see how, how far it carries me but it did good when I saw it so Hell yeah, well, uh, good luck into your next matches. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> no problem. All right, I'm here with Darian. And he's playing. Branded Brave Token. Branded Brave, and how did your match go? Uh, it went terrible because I'm playing 51 cards, and inconsistency exists, and yeah, I just got bad luck today. I feel you on that one. I'm also running 52 cards, and uh, it's tough. I, I feel your pain here on that one. Yeah, you know, it, it also hurts when you get super poly twice. Oh my you know, god. I thought it would have a great day. You know, autopilot, let my brain go. You know, let Jesus take the wheel. Branded, very token, GG, easy, but nah. It just happens. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear, but uh, I'm sure you'll try to clutch up in this next round. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying for you. We love you, Darius. Yeah. It's the hangover. Yeah, it's the hangover. All right, I just finished round three, and it was probably the most like entertaining, most fun duel I've ever had. Um, we went we went to three games, uh, but the first game we both bricked like hella hard, and we were both like just sweating, just looking at each other, like what's this guy gonna do? He he sets one card and passes it to me. Um, no, I set I set one card, pass it to him. He sets one card, passes it to me, um, and then I just I just add um, I just play right of Aramisir and. Uh, I just keep poking him with the token over and over, um, and set, and bouncing back his face down because all he had was hand straps, and I just kept poking him for game. He didn't play a single card the first game, so I had no idea what, was, what he was playing. Game two, um, he he had a more connected board going. Like we had some we had some we had some uh, plays going on. I still didn't really open that great, um, but he was able to get the resources he needed and Sky Striker. It's like the more the longer its resources are out and and or its effects are able to be activated, like the longer it goes, like the less you can really do about it. So uh, I ended up scape, uh, scooping game two. Game three was <laughs> we both opened up five hand drops. Uh, well, not five hand traps. I opened up with, um, yeah, I opened up Celestial and uh, what's it called? And just and just like a bunch of bricks, right? So I normal so, so like I set one and pass. He sets one and passes again. We're like, oh my god, like what is happening? I normal summon out Celestial and attack him for 16, and then a uh, little bit of back and forth goes, uh, and then I'm just able to clean it up after like turn like nine or some shit like we just kept drawing into hand traps and like just bricks and just passing turn like it was, it was super entertaining uh so uh yeah dude was really nice too uh it was a really good time so uh happy to at least win one and not go x3 so doing pretty good about that yeah i won <laughs> all right i'm here with james mesa and he's playing i'm playing brave tenure and how was how was your last match uh, my last match actually didn't start until like 13 minutes in. My, we both got deck checked. Uh, my deck was perfect, like always, like me. Uh, my opponent's cards were a little warped, so we ended up getting a game loss. Uh, he was playing Branded Eldritch, so game two he ends up beating me. Uh, I bricked on a couple Garnets, this is what it is. Game three, uh, mostly full combo, but I set anti-spell and uh, he, I had Blackout to pop his actual spells for plays. So, uh, way I ended the game was he sanguines, summons Golden Lord, I chain Ghost Mourner, and I burn him to death. Hell yeah. How are you feeling overall about the event so far? 
Uh, I think a lot of hype for this being one of the first like NorCal regional events is the reason why it started late. So nothing you can really do to control that. Uh, I think they're trying to run it as fast as they can, which is cool. No real trip. I wish that there was time for a lunch break, but nine rounds, not much you could do. So I think they're doing all right so far. Awesome. Well, thank you. I uh, hope you end up topping, win more matches, and uh, yeah, good luck to you in the next game. Yeah, that's the ideal, man. Top 32 is like the minimum that I'm going for. Yeah, I think that's achievable. Yeah. Or at, least, at least for James it is. I, uh, yeah, that's yeah. the ideal. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying. Yeah. All right, we just finished up round four. We went up against Dragon Link this time, and we came in clutch. All that, uh, all that training against Andre and his Dragon Link deck really paid off. First game was really, really good. Uh, we both played, uh, opened up with uh, good opening hands. It was very well fought. Uh, the guy was uh, was was pretty good. Um, I just, uh, I just ended up having the hand trap advantage, and I just kind of knew where to hit. Um, that was what I was able to uh, seal the deal. Uh, game two, um, I was almost worried that we were going to go into time and, and uh, I would lose to a draw uh, but uh, he unfortunately was just unable to follow up with uh, after he wiped my, my board initially um, I was able to come back and hit him for 4k during his turn he was trying to make something happen uh, misplayed and then uh, just went time in the round yeah we ended up getting this one we're still uh, x2 which is great because I get to actually play another round and not have to drop um, yeah looking forward to what's next and I'm, uh, I'm happy with the progress so far Alright, we just finished up round five. It was a good, good match. Uh, I ended up winning. Um, I went up against the chair. <laughs> yeah, my, my opponent just didn't show up. Um, I'll take it, honestly. Uh, but uh, I was just kind of sitting there for a while. Just Alright. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll move on to round six. It's now 4.30, and uh, this is a time when people are starting to get really hungry. There's like no time to eat um, and people are starting to get dehydrated hungry this is when uh, the boys are separated from the men a few moments later all right so we finished round six and we lost we lost against sky strikers we got matched against sky strikers again for the third time um, so uh, we went x3 um, figured it was a good time to drop and just go get some dinner it's about it's around six o'clock right now um overall uh had a lot of fun um really happy i was able to make it out here and uh get this whole experience the match the matchups you know would have would have would have wanted some more diversity in terms of like who we were playing against but you know that's just how it is um but uh yeah just wanted to just wrap up by saying uh thanks to everybody that uh, i played against and uh just bringing a good attitude. Thanks for everyone who uh, uh, showed up and had a good time. Looking forward to the next time I can probably do something like this. Uh, learned a lot, had a good time. And uh, I think uh, I'm just going to go get some dinner now and call it from there. So.